ask for the guidance of the Lord as we start our lesson. So anyone among the class who wants to lead the prayer? Mom, may I lead the prayer? Okay, yes, Cherry Ann, you may lead the prayer. You can start now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Guide us and give us wisdom and knowledge in our learning today. We hope that we could learn and understand the lesson that teacher will discuss today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Sheridan. Good morning, students. Good, Good morning, morning Mom Jovi. Good morning, classmates. Okay, how are you today? Is everyone okay? Yes, yes ma'am, we are. Okay, very good. Very nice to hear that. We are going to have a song and dance to energize ourselves before we start our lesson. So what you should do is to follow what I'm going to sing and dance. So, are you ready? Yes, yes ma'am, we are ready. Okay, so just follow what I'm going to sing and dance, okay? Yes, yes ma'am. Hello, everybody. How are you today? It's time to move your body and learn and play. Hello to my teacher. How are you today? I'm going to listen to what you say. Hello to my friends. How are you today? I hope that all of you are fine today. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Dip your arms up, your arms down. Dip your arms up and shake it all around. Bend to the left, bend to the right. Bend to the left, bend to the right. Hello everybody, how are you today? It's time to move your body and learn and play. Hello to my teacher, how are you today? I'm going to listen to what you say. Hello to my friends, how are you today? I hope that all of you are fine today. Okay, very good everyone, you may take your seats. Is there any absent today? No! Ma'am. Okay, very good, you have the perfect attendance. Give yourself three claps. Before we are going to start our class lesson, let us try to remember our classroom rules. So anyone who can give me the first classroom rules? Yes, Chair Khan. Sit properly. Okay, very good. Thank you. You may now take your seat. How about the second one? Yes, Benjamin. Listen carefully. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. How about the third one? Yes, Mary Joy. Raise your hand if you want to say something. Do not answer in chorus. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. How about the fourth one? Yes, Kelly. Treat others with respect. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. And the last one is? Yes, Melvin. Always do your best. Okay, very good. Yes, very good class. Thank you for all your responses. Okay class, our lesson for today is all about microscopy. Okay, so we have here the content standard, the performance standard, and the learning competency. So for the content standard, the learners demonstrate an understanding of the parts and functions of the compound microscope. Next, the performance standards, the learners should be able to employ appropriate techniques using the compound microscope to gather data about very small objects. And lastly, our learning competency for this lesson is the learners should be able to identify parts of the microscope and their function. So our main focus in this lesson, microscopy, is to identify parts of the microscope and their functions. Before we go through to our class lesson, let us first have a game. And this game is entitled One Week, One Word. So I will present different pictures with incomplete words or letters for you to answer. So after answering those uh, questions in this game, 
you will have your prize using the wheel. So are you ready, class? Yes, yes ma'am, we, we are, are ready. ready. Okay, very good. So let us start the game. So what is the answer for the first picture, anyone? Yes, Benjamin. I peace. Okay, very good. Go in front to get your prize. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you may now take your seat. Okay, so how about the second picture? Anyone? Okay, Mary Joy. Baseball. Okay, very good. Go in front to get your prize. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you may now take your seat. Okay, so how about the third picture? Anyone? Yes, Cherry. I'm ma'am. Okay, very good. Go in front to get your prize. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you may now take your seat. Okay, so how about the fourth picture? Anyone? Okay, yes, Alvin. Stage, ma'am. Okay, very good. Go in front to get your prize. Yes, Kelly. Mom, tube. Okay, very good. Go in front to get your prize. Thank you, Mom. Okay, you may now take your seat. Do you enjoy our game class? Yes, yes Mom. It we is challenging and we are enjoying understanding about, about the pictures. pictures. Okay, very good. All of you did a great job. Give yourself another five claps. One, two, three, four. So, this is the flow of our lesson today, which is the microscopy. So, we will start with the first one, which is the Edison, followed by engage, explore, explain, elaborate, evaluation, and extend. Okay, so let's start with the Edison. We have here the picture analysis. So what can you say about the picture? Anyone? Yes, Melvin. The picture is all about microscope. Yes, very good. You may now take your seat. Are you familiar with the different parts of microscope? Can you give one and what do you think is its function? Yes, Leslie. Yes, ma'am. Just like the eyepiece, and I think, ma'am, its function is it, it is a lens that the viewer looks through to see the specimen. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. How about the others? Are you familiar with the different parts of microscope? Can you give one and its function? Okay, yes, Mary Joy. Ma'am, the base. I think its function is to support the microscope and it's where the illuminator is located. Okay, thank you. Very good. You may now take your seat. Since that um, you are familiar with the different parts of microscope and it's very nice to hear that. Okay, so do you have an idea of how this microscope is for? Anyone? Hey, yes, Alvin. Mom, I think microscope is an instrument that is used to magnify small objects. Okay, thank you. Very good. You may now take your seat. So, we will proceed to engage. Okay, class. I will show you a video presentation. So, class, do you remember our classroom rules? When we are going to have a video or watch a video presentation, anyone? Okay, yes, Cherry. Mom, we should listen carefully. Take down notes and do not do unnecessary things and be on focus on watching. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. So therefore, all of you should listen carefully about watching the video presentation. Is that clear, class? Yes, ma'am. Very clear. Okay. We're glad to see you here in the second quarter. 
In this video, we are going to talk about the microscope, its parts, and functions. The microscope is a tool that can help you see tiny objects in living organisms. It comprises of three major parts based on their functions, magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. The magnifying parts are where the specimen in focus appears larger. This part here is the ocular, also called eyepiece. It is a lens that is attached to a draw tube. Next, these are the objective lenses. The objective lenses are the primary optical lenses on a microscope. They range from 4 times to 100 times magnification and typically include three lenses in most microscopes. These are high power objective, low power objective, and oil immersion. The illuminating parts supply light and regulate light towards the focus specimen. First, we have the mirror. This is used to reflect light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage. Next, not seen in the picture, is the diaphragm. It controls the amount of light reaching the specimen. It is located above the condenser and below the stage. Also, not seen in the picture is the stage condenser. It is used to collect and focus the light from the illuminator onto the specimen. It is located under the stage, often in conjunction with an iris diaphragm. Lastly, we have the mechanical parts. These are parts of the compound microscope that are used to support and adjust other parts. First, we have the body tube. It is a tube that separates the objective and the eyepiece and assumes continuous alignment of the optics. Next, this is the coarse adjustment knob. It allows the movement of the tube upwards or downwards. On the other hand, the fine adjustment knob is used to bring the specimen into sharp focus under low power and is used for all focusing when using high power lenses. The arm is the curved shaped part that supports the body tube. It is where we hold the microscope and transporting it from one place to another. Next, the inclination joint connects the arm to the base. It helps in finding the microscope for a more comfortable viewing. The stage clip holds the glass slide in place, and the stage is a flat surface where the mounted slide is fixed. Lastly, we have the base. This provides support to the microscope. So to summarize, a microscope is a tool which can help you see tiny objects and living organisms. It comprises of three major parts based on their functions, magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. That's all for now. We will be discussing how to use the microscope in our next video. See you in our next video, and don't forget to keep your minds busy. Okay, do you want me to play again the video presentation? Yes, ma! Okay. We're glad to see you here in the second quarter. In this video, we are going to talk about the microscope, its parts, and functions. The microscope is a tool that can help you see tiny objects in living organisms. It comprises of three major parts based on their functions, magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. The magnifying parts are where the specimen in focus appears larger. This part here is the ocular, also called eyepiece. It is a lens that is attached to a draw tube. Next, 
These are the objective lenses. The objective lenses are the primary optical lenses on a microscope. They range from four times to 100 times magnification and typically include three lenses in most microscopes. These are high power objective, low power objective, and oil immersion. The illuminating parts supply light and regulate light towards the focus specimen. First, we have the mirror. This is used to reflect light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage. Next, not seen in the picture, is the diaphragm. It controls the amount of light reaching the specimen. It is located above the condenser and below the stage. Also, not seen in the picture is the stage condenser. It is used to collect and focus the light from the illuminator onto the specimen. It is located under the stage, often in conjunction with an iris diaphragm. Lastly, we have the mechanical parts. These are parts of the compound microscope that are used to support and adjust other parts. First, we have the body tube. It is a tube that separates the objective and the outpiece and assumes continuous alignment of the optics. Next, this is the coarse adjustment knob. It allows the movement of the tube upwards or downwards. On the other hand, the fine adjustment knob is used to bring the specimen into sharp focus under low power and is used for all focusing when using high power lenses. The arm is the curved shaped part that supports the body tube. It is where we hold the microscope and transporting it from one place to another. Next, the inclination joint connects the arm to the base. It helps in finding the microscope for a more comfortable viewing. The stage clip holds the glass slide in place, and the stage is a flat surface where the mounted slide is fixed. Lastly, we have the base. This provides support to the microscope. So to summarize, a microscope is a tool which can help you see tiny objects and living organisms. It comprises of three major parts based on their functions, magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. That's all for now. We will be discussing how to use the microscope in our next video. See you on our next video, and don't forget to keep your minds busy. Okay, class. After watching the video presentation, I have questions for you. So, what is the video presentation all about? Anyone? Yes, Mary Joy. The video presentation is all about the different parts of microscope with their functions. Okay, very good. You may now take your seats. Next one is, what are the three major parts of the microscope? Okay, yes, Cherry Ann. Ma'am, the three major parts of the microscope are magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical as the three major parts of the microscope. Okay, very good. You may now take your seats. The third one is, what are the main parts of magnifying? Yes, Benjamin. Ma'am, we have the ocular or eyepiece and the objective lenses in it have a high power objective, low power objective, and oil immersion. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. The fourth one is, what are the main parts of illuminating? Yes, lovely Joy. Um, we have the mirror, diaphragm, and the stage condenser. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. Okay, so lastly, what are the main parts of mechanical as one of the major parts of the microscope? Anyone? Yes, Leslie Ann. Mom, we have the body. We have the body too, brother. Force, adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob, and the arm. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. 
Okay, let us now move on to the next floor. Class, let us have our activity. So I will present a picture of a microscope and I will group you into three groups. And I prepare different questions, each group for you to answer, okay? But before that, do you remember our classroom rules when we are going to have a group activity? Anyone? Yes, Melvin. Mom, the first one is we should participate in be cooperative when our group members for doing the group activity. Okay, yes, very good. Thank you. You may now take your seat. How about the other classroom rules when we are going to have a group activity? Yes, Leslie. Mom, we should respect each other, do the activity quietly, and do our best to accomplish the group activity. Okay, yes, very good. Thank you. You may now take your seat. Okay, class, very good. So, we should follow the classroom rules when we are going to have a group activity. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Okay, so let us start with the group one. Okay, so for group one, here is the question for you to answer. So, identify the main parts of magnifying and give their functions. Okay, so for the group 2, your question is, identify the main parts of illuminating and give their functions. And lastly, for the group 3, your question is to identify the main parts of mechanical and give their functions. So class, you only have 3 minutes to answer. So your, your time starts now. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Let's go to the explain. So class, are you through with your group activity? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. So for your group activity, I want you to select your speaker to represent your group activity. Okay. So let us start with the group 1 followed by group 2 and group 3. So for group 1, your question is, what are the main parts of magnifying as first major parts of microscope? And the second one is, give the function of each parts. Yes, Benjamin, you are the presenter of the group one. Okay, ma'am. So, the main parts of magnifying as the first major parts of the microscope are the ocular eyepiece and the objective lenses. Ocular or eyepiece is the lens that is attached to a draw tube. The objective lenses are the primary optical lenses on a microscope. They range from 4 times to 100 times magnification and typically include three lenses and these are high power objective, low power objective, and oil immersion. Okay, thank you Benjamin. Very good. Very good group one. So next is for the group two. Your question is, what are the main parts of illuminating a second major parts of microscope? And the second one, give the function of each parts. So, okay, yes, Cherry Ann, you are the presenter of the group 2. The main parts of illuminating as the second major parts of a microscope are the mirror, diagram, or diaphragm rather, and the stage condenser. The function of mirror in the microscope is to reflect light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage. Diaphragm, which it controls the amount of light reaching the specimen. It is located above the condenser and below the stage. Lastly, the stage condenser, which used to collect and focus the light from the illuminator, Onto the specimen, it is located under the stage, often in conjunction with an Aries diaphragm. Okay, very good. Thank you, Cherry Han. Very good, group two. Next is group three. And the presenter is Mary Joy. Okay, so your question is, what are the main parts of mechanical as the third major types of microscope? And the second is, give the function of each part. The main parts of mechanical as the third major parts of microscope are the body tube, coarse adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob arm, inclination, inclination joint, stage clip, stage in the base. 
The body tube, it is a tube that separates the objective and the eyepiece and assumes continuous alignment of the optics. Course adjustment knob which allows the movement of the tube upwards or downwards. Fine adjustment knob is used to bring the specimen into sharp focus under low power and is used for all focusing when using high power lenses. Arm is the curved shape part that supports the body tube where we hold the microscope and transporting it from one place to another. Inclination joint which connects the arm to the base. It helps incline the microscope for a more comfortable viewing. Stage clip which holds the glass slide in place. Stage is a flat surface where the mounted slide is placed. Lastly, we have the base. This provides support to the microscope. Okay, very good, Mary Joy. Very good, very good group three. Very good. Each group have a perfect score. Give yourself a five class. So to fully understand our lesson for today, I will going to elaborate the microscope. It's used the different parts of microscope together with their function. So microscope, it is one of the most important tools used to study living things which can help you to see tiny objects and living organisms. So as you can observe on the video presentation a while ago, it also um, gives the meaning of the microscope and its use. So from its word microscope, which uh, micro, which means very small, and then scope, which means to look at. Okay, so to look at very small. Okay, so microscope comprises three major parts based on their different functions, which we have the magnifying. The second one is illuminating, and the third one is the mechanical. So when we say magnifying, okay, so the first one is the magnifying, or the first, or the one major parts of the microscope we're in, it is where the specimen in focus appears larger. So from its words, magnifying, or magnify, it, it, with the use of the control microscope, it enables us to see even very or even tiny objects. So next is, okay, so next is we have the illuminating as the second major parts of the microscope. We're in the parts that supply light and regulate light towards the focus specimen. So of course, with this illuminating or the supply light, it also help us to um, focus to see the specimen clearly. And lastly is, we have the mechanical parts as the last major parts of the microscope wherein these are parts of the compound microscope that are used to support and adjust other parts. So from its words, mechanical is its main function is to support and adjust the other parts of the compound microscope. Okay, so here are the different parts of microscope and their functions. So can you read the first one? Yes, Kelly. The first one is head. This is also known as the body. It carries the optical parts in the upper parts of the microscope. Okay, thank you. Very good. So, number one is head. So, always remember that it is known as the body of the compound microscope. So, the second one, can you please read? Yes, Alvin. It acts as a microscope support. It also carries the microscopic illuminators. Okay, thank you. Very good. So the second one is base or a um, simple uh, meaning of this base is the uh, parts of the compound microscope is it acts as a microscope support. So next is, okay, so can you read the third one? Yes, lovely joy. Arms. This is the part connecting the base into the head and the eyepiece to, to the base of the microscope. It gives 
it gives support to the head of the microscope and it also used when carrying the microscope. Okay, thank you. Very good. So, arms is, it is used when carrying the microscope. So, next is we have the, can you please read, Miss Jenny? The fourth one is eyepiece, also known as the ocular. This is the part used to look through the microscope. It's found at the top of the microscope. Its standard magnification is 10 times with an optional eyepiece having magnification from 5 times to 30 times. Okay, thank you. Very good, Cherry. So, eyepiece is, it is where you are going to look the specimen. So, the fifth one is we have... Yes, Melvin. The fifth one, objective lenses. These are the major lenses used for specimen visualization. They have a magnification power of 40 times to 100 times. There are about 1 to 4 objective lenses placed on one microscope. In that some are rare facing and others face forward. Each lens has its own magnification power. Okay, thank you. Very good. So, objective lenses is used for specimen visualization. So, always remember that. So, the next one is we have... Can you please... Read Mary Joy. Nose piece, also known as the revolving turret. It holds the objective lenses. It is movable, hence it revolves the objective lenses depending on the magnification power of that lens. Okay, very good. So here in the nose piece, as the parts of the microscope is, it holds, or the main function of this is, it holds the objective lenses. So next one is we have... Okay, the adjustment knobs. So, can you please read? Yes, Kelly. The adjustment knobs. These are knobs that are used to focus the microscope. These are, there are two types of adjustment knobs. The fine adjustment knobs and the coarse adjustment knobs. Okay, thank you. Very good. So, for the adjustment knobs, um, the main function of this is to focus the microscope. Wherein, we have the two types of the adjustment knobs. We have the fine adjustment knobs and the coarse adjustment knobs. So, next. Okay, the stage. Can you please read Benjamin? This is the section on which the specimen is placed for viewing. We have stage clips hold the specimen slides in place. The most common stage is a mechanical stage, which allows the controls of slides by moving the slides using the mechanical knobs on the stage instead of moving it manually. Okay, so for the stage as the parts of the microscope, it is where the specimen is placed for viewing. So next is, we have the diaphragm. So can you please read? Lovely joy. Diaphragm, it's also known as the iris. It's found under the stage of the microscope and its primary role is to control the amount of light that reaches the specimen. Okay, very good. So this diaphragm is found under the stage of the microscope and its um, function is to control the light, okay? Um, control, the, control the light, rather, that reaches the specimen. So next is, we have the mirror. So can you please read, Jerry? Mirror. The function of mirror in this in the microscope is to reflect light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage. Okay, very good. So, mirror's main function is to reflect light. So, always remember that. So, next one is we have the stage condenser. Can you please read, Mary Joy? Stage condenser, which used to collect and focus the light from the illuminator on the Specimen. It is located under the stage often in conjunction with an iris diaphragm. Okay, very good. So for the stage condenser, its function is to focus the light from the illuminator on the specimen. So next is we have the body tube. So can you please read? Alvin. It is a tube that separates the objective and the eyepiece. 
and machine scrutinous alignment on the top of the object. Okay, very good. So for the body job of the parts of the microscope, it is the tubes that separate the objective and the eyepiece. Okay, so lastly, we have the inclination joint. So can you please speak? Yes, it's very inclination joint which connects the arm to the base it helps incline the microscope for a more comfortable viewing okay thank you very good so for the last part of the inclination joint its function is um it enables us for more comfortable viewing using the compound microscope again class what are the different parts of a microscope yes kelly the different parts of a microscope is we have the head base, arm, eyepiece, objective lenses, nose piece, the adjustment knobs, stage, diaphragm, mirror, stage condenser, body tube, and the inclination joint. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you for your participation class. Okay, class, let us now go on to the evolution. So, I have here the PPT sheets for you to answer. So I prepared um, two types of tests. Okay, so um, read the directions carefully. Okay, so for test one, we have identify the parts of microscope by filling out the label diagram. And for the test two, is we have match the microscope parts listed in column A with their correct function in column B. Write the letter from the column B that matches the number from column A next to it. Okay, class, here is your activity sheets. Okay, class, you only have five minutes to answer. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Okay, class, are you through with your test? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, so let us now try to correct your answer. So kindly exchange your papers with your seatmates. Okay. So the answer for test one is... Can you check your papers correctly? Okay, for the answer for the test 2 is, okay, okay, so class, are you done checking your answers? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, so Benjamin, can you collect all the PPT sheets, please? Okay, thank you, Benjamin. Welcome, ma'am. Okay. Wow, very good. I'm happy that you've learned something today. So, class, can you follow me on how I will go into complement you because you did a very great job. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, so clap your hands three times. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And a two thumbs up saying very good, very good. Very, very good, good, very good. So again, one, two, Very good, very good. So finally, let us go on to the extent. Okay. So here are your other activities for you to do and you are going to submit it tomorrow. So do these activities as your exercises. So we have... So number one, in a short open band, Draw a microscope and identify its parts. Next is, the second one is, crossword puzzle. Magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical. So, here's your PBT sheets. Yes. So, last, any questions with regards to our lesson today? None, no, ma'am. Okay, very good. Thank you, class, for your active participation and cooperation in doing your activities and sharing your ideas. All of you did a great work. 
continue to become a productive student. Let's see each other tomorrow. Goodbye class. God bless and keep safe. Goodbye, Mom Ruby. Thank, Thank you for teaching us today. today.